This time on low boost, we get our 351 Windsor back. We replace the fuel pump and our straight six for the Mustang, and then we burn some rubber. To recap what we've been working on with the Thrift Horse, we got a 351 Windsor for free based off of a project that we bought another transmission for for our 1953 Ford F100. So the next thing to do was to naturally just tear it down and actually see what it needed. Uh, as you can see here, it's not the prettiest looking engine and um, we did some more work to it, pulled stuff off to really find out it hydro locked up and uh, two of the cylinders were really they're really in bad shape. So we ended up tearing more of it down. I tried to clean it up as much as I could and there was just no save in this block. It really needed to be redone and have everything refreshed, especially uh, you know in the condition that it is in here. So loaded the engine, the, just the block itself up uh, in the back of the truck and brought it over to our friend Gary at Napa in Wilton. And uh, he did a whole refresh of the engine did a whole inspection on it, did a great job, and here's some shots of him working on it. Uh, he found a couple things that the engine needed. The block was pretty shot, so he had to bore the uh, cylinder over 30 over, so he bored all the cylinders over 30 over, so it's 357, and he also found that the deck was a little off, so he actually decked the block a little bit, should help with compression. He also found that the crank was out of round, so he had to grind the crank down as well so the engine needed a lot of work but after he was all done with it the thing just looks amazing and it's going to be a brand new engine for us to use in the mustang going forward and uh, next up we just need to find some heads for it we need 60 cc heads to get the desired compression ratio we're looking at and uh, maybe we can find some nice aluminum ones as well Might not realize it, but now that we got this thing back from the machine shop, it's as good as new. Now board 30 over, and we had to actually cut a little off the deck too, so should increase the compression a little bit as well. With some 60 cc heads, this should make a 9 to 5, 9.5 to 1 compression with the pistons that we got. So on our 1966 Mustang 351 swap, we got the motor back. We still got a ways to go on it. So we're trying to get everything squared away on the six, on the six cylinder to be able to get it ready to sell, pull it out, or at least just drive it around. And we found out that the fuel pump is actually leaking right around the top seal here. Uh, I don't know how common that is, but it's not that hard to replace. There's two bolts here. And then we kind of unhooked everything to pull the pump out. Normally you can un you can undo it from here, but it was actually seized up pretty good. So we took everything else off and we'll try to put that in a vise or use some vise grips to get some better leverage on it. I got a new fuel pump from Rock Auto. They're really cheap. I would tell you, if you're gonna get parts from somewhere, you wanna get it quick and get it inexpensive, get it from Rock Auto. Um, this was like 20 bucks. So it shipped just a few days to the house. We're gonna take all the stuff off of this, swap it out on that, and then throw it back on the Mustang. So after you get the old one off, clean the area. It's nice so the gas can have a nice mating surface to it. We're able to do all this on the outside of, of the car and through the top. We didn't need to get underneath it. And then I have my gasket all lined up like that. I have my bolts ready to thread through. I think we'll start with this side.
All right, so once it's threaded on and everything, you just wanna make sure that the eccentric is in the right position. So all we had to do to get everything to line up was just crank the motor just a little bit and then the fuel pump was easily able to just pop right on. Next, we will hook up the fuel line. Like a top. We just gotta check for leaks. Now fixing this car up is a two-pronged attack. While we're looking for all the parts and everything to rebuild the engine, we want to make sure the car drives and runs uh, perfectly as it sits. So there's one other thing I really wanted to check and potentially upgrade before we actually pull this engine out and get everything ready to uh, put the 351 in. And I wanted to run a test, so here it is. Yeah, so that was a brake test from about 50 miles an hour to a dead stop with these uh, stock front drum brakes. The rear brakes don't even work. They're not even hooked up. So I wanted to see how well this thing stopped and uh, a brake upgrade is definitely what we're gonna need. So we're gonna do uh, disc brakes in the front. We're gonna do five lug conversions so we can fit some nice wheels and tires on here. We're also gonna upgrade to the V8 spindles. So make sure you guys follow along with this entire process because next up we're replacing the entire front suspension and getting disc brakes and replacing the rear end with a V8 rear end with some new shocks and brakes as well. So make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date on all of my uploads. I got another great project too that I'm working on with my dad. It's a 1953 Ford F100 pickup truck that we're restoring and actually swapping another 351 Windsor in. I have a 1994 BMW E36 Turbo LS swap that I've been working on for a few years. The thing is a lot of fun. I also have a 2003 C5 Corvette that I've made into a street and track car that's a lot of fun to drive as well. So if you're into that kind of stuff, consider subscribing. Parts are rolling in for the Mustang. I'm really excited to put this engine back together and swap this 351 in. So thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.